There has been some discussion on social media during the last two weeks about creating new categories in product. I don't mean only mask. I'm thinking about new category about real needs after all this crisis. For example, the comfort. So we have been working every day for five weeks or more from home and we would like to wear comfortable clothes even after. Another point is about interaction with garments. So the idea is to create a product that can give us benefits when we wear it. It can be antibacterial, but also much more. There could be an exchange between ourselves and our garments. What I aim, what I dream, is much more respect for the herd. We know that pollution decreased during the last weeks. It's a kind of miracle how the nature can regenerate itself. What I hope is that there will be much more respect for both work and the workers. In Thermos products, we should keep the right values, the durability and the quality of it, and should be taken in real consideration despite the quantities. I think that after these dramatic moments, there will be many positive things and opportunities. For denim industry, I think so this uh... It will be an opportunity for make a filter of in the industry who is really working in a sustainable way, also for the way for sustainable the companies, the workers, the information, and I think so is a opportunity for see the reaction of the brands. I think so the problem is not the consumer, it's not the industry. I think so the brands are like very tough and very strict with the production things and issues now. So you, you, it's a moment for discover that companies that, that in the past are putting real values in sustainability. And this will be a good challenge and a good uh, moment for see which companies are really sustainable in this crisis sustainable for surviving also. So what impact will this mean for the denim industry? I think we all need to look at how we do our jobs. Can virtual technology replace some travel? Um, I think the brands and retailers who are genuinely ethical and strong in sustainability will shine. I think jeans will change. The customers will want the jeans to be more considered, not only environmentally, but from a well-being and a lifestyle perspective. And I think we'll be looking at the technology and our products more. Um, looking at the supply chain is going to be very important. For me, I'm very passionate about local. I think we need to work with our big suppliers overseas, the big factories, and find a way of bringing goods in and processing them closer to home. If we can be more market responsive in the UK, deliver goods with a shorter lead time, then we'll, we'll start to reduce waste and we'll reduce risk. I think local is definitely the way forward. For denim specifically, this means that People will be looking at great fabrics that are innovative and kind and greener, cleaner. And I think people will be looking to do even um, more in terms of washing. And I'm hopeful that all of those practices that are, we're, already ready, we're already starting to see are just going to be um, just going to be even more and new stuff is going to come that is going to give us solutions for problems that we have you know there are companies that are going to that are going to dis disappear it's just the nature of what's going to happen and um you know i uh, read articles about all those companies and like, i you know for me personally i think it's not a bad thing if companies like that stuff like, you know like that it's because there's too much fast fashion anyway and then these companies all produced a lot of terrible things and a lot of terrible crap made things and so less of that will be well will, will be welcomed but a detriment to people on the other side of the world that make it and you know what other things can they make and sell you know a lot of these countries that, that grow all this all this all, all this cotton they have to go back to producing other types of things like more food you know as, I don't know it's it, it's it's the impact for the in industry we're only literally t touching on now. It's this is going to go on for another six six more months, and um, we're going to see a lot more companies d drop off, really. And, and unfortunately, it'll be the smaller ones first, and the bigger ones will probably get government like help, which is which is even even sadder. Um, 
but some some of them shouldn't really survive. That's my personal opinion. In my opinion, I think that there will be a, a huge and hurtful impact. I think that, that the, the, the post-pandemic uh, will be very, very difficult for a lot of companies and, and well, in, obviously in all the industries, but, but for sure in, in denim industry. And I think that this will force us to, to reinvent our, ourselves. We, 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 should, we, thought we should change things and, and things how we do things. I don't like to think that, that the, the pandemic has a positive side because I, I think that it does not at all. <laughs> uh, but, but it's true that, that probably we will learn about this situation and, and after that, uh, I hope that we all understand that we should do things in a better way. I believe that denim will have an important place in the post-pandemic world. Why? Denim is regarded as quality. It's an everyday classic in whatever form. It's a product beyond fashion as well as being fashion. Be it vintage, stretch, raw or shiny. It's a fabric without boundaries or class and increasingly regarded as being sustainable, particularly when incorporating sustainable cellulosics such as Tencel, Lyocell, Refibra and Ecovera, all of which are Lensing's products. Den denim will be one, I hope, of the first fabrics to bounce back. Whether to pre-pandemic heights, who knows? And for sure, the recovery will take a long time. Fashion industry overall, actually, I think um, I think it will have huge impact. I think that we will buy less, but buy better and hope. As I said before, I think it's a, a wake up call for everyone um, on the way they buy things and the way they produce things. So I, I kind of feel like it's an opportunity actually for everyone to change their thinking because we've adapted really well if you think like in the past couple of weeks we would never have dreamed that we could actually work from home every day and we'd be able to cope um, and we've done it so I feel that um, these things are definitely possible now I think it's easier to see well, I think there's three things. First, uh, this is a challenging time and only companies that can develop creative solutions will be able to persevere. Second, this will drive companies to create more sustainable business models, investing in R&D and finding creative ways to be more competitive. And last, this will create an opportunity to stronger ties between producers, brands, vendors, the whole supply chain. This can result in strong relationships once we get through this crisis. I'm, I'm sure there will be an impact. Uh, also now, definitely it's difficult to say at this moment, I, I guess that uh, we need more time. I'm sure that anyway, we'll change uh, uh, from Brian's point of view, from uh, uh, fabric mill, from garment factories. Everything will be uh, reset uh, in, in order to, yeah, to, to adapt to the new events. So uh, <clears throat> probably there will be more uh, focus on sustainability because also we saw what is happening now and everyone is kind of appreciating the fact that uh, the sky is blue, the pollution uh, drop a lot. <clears throat> Animals, uh, you can see, uh, they are taking their, their space again. Uh, yeah, so this is basically the proof that uh, uh, to live in a more clean uh, environment, in a more clean world, for sure uh, we will uh, have some benefits. All of us who is living in this moment, it was a life lesson. We are returning to the origin that is our family, giving value to our environment, being more ecological and less destructive. The crisis brings progress. We have many things to do. I know it's time for reflection, but also it's time for action. Doing what we have to do at home, as citizens, as employees. It's the moment and it's now. Arguably, uh, 
I would say that the virus that we're all trying to fight at the morning at the moment is um, as a result of pushing what I would call planetary boundaries, um, arguably climate change will be just a bigger uh, challenge for us in the future. Um, so I would say that the denim industry survivors um, will be those who are operating on sustainable principles. Um, the guys who will survive are the thinkers and the creators and the innovators and the doers, the collaborators. They're the ones I think will and should survive. And um, hopefully after this experience that we're all going through, um, our children will grow up not with ambitions of being famous for being a rock star, but maybe they will have ambitions to be famous for being a climate scientist or a, an epidemiologist. This uh, pandemic will speed up all the change, changes that have been happening slowly in the past five years. And I would say that there are three consequences of this pandemic. One, we are going to design and produce in a more sustainable way, um, considering all the aspects from the cotton uh, growth to the final disposal of the product. Secondly, I'd say that uh, there's going to be more collaboration between uh, all agents in the supply chain uh, from designers, mills, and, and, and product managers to uh, the distribution. And third, I would say that there's uh, no doubt that the final consumer is going to engage in all this uh, transformation. Uh, and, it's gonna, and they are gonna ask for a, a fast change. So I would say that those three will be the top of my head consequences in the denim industry. What I want to focus on is more, I feel like the, the longer term uh, impact, positive impact that this could have. I come from a um, generic fashion background and when I was invited into this, um, the denim industry, um, I realized that uh, there were some values that weren't in a normal uh, fashion system that I was used to. And these uh, are not related to products, are not related to technologies, are not related to techniques or anything like that. They're relate, are related to um, human values and um, how I was impressed on how the denim, I'd say the good denim industry, um, comes together as a community and has really strong relationships and is so supportive of one another. And now that this pandemic has um, um, kind of, the veil has, has dropped and uh, the true essence of people have come forward. And I think this is a filter that uh, is showing to many people what are the real relationship, the stronger relationship that they could rely upon that are not based on economic uh, exchanges. Um, and so uh, my point is that uh, I feel that this is a real opportunity to actually have a stronger bond and the foundation to find the new role that the denim industry will play in the future. I'm not sure what that role would be, but 
but uh, I hope that it will be um, based on a value system that is different from now and uh, will be more humane and more environmentally conscious. My hope is that for the denim industry, this is a time that we can be a blue glue and be even stronger together. I hope that, uh, that this really shines a light on sustainability. And I think that in times of crisis, what is important becomes very obvious. And I think that if you're gonna be moving forward in this industry, you need to do so as sustainably as humanly possible. Otherwise, don't bother because there's really no room for bullshit in a post-pandemic world. Frenchie and I send love. <laughs>